Mankind has many amazing characteristics. Courageousness, kindness, curiousness, and much more. These characteristics have led us to bring people together to create and innovate and evolve into an advanced society. However, mankind also has many negative characteristics, such as greed, lust, and pride. These characteristics have led to polarization, inequity, illiberalism, hatred, ignorance, and conflict, even war and genocide. Selfishness is yet another example of a negative characteristic that mankind has. That is, mankind has become so concerned with their wants, their needs, their lives as individuals, that they have neglected the greater good in the community, such as those in need, those who may be and think and live differently. Whether and how we embrace these characteristics is reflected in our communities, and specifically in our leaders and government. In this way, our leaders can become a mirror for the characteristics we embrace the most. When we embrace the bad characteristics, our leaders represent and embody those bad characteristics, meaning that we have voted for, endorsed, supported, and befriended individuals whose only goals were to make the lives of others harder. These certain individuals have expressed hatred for certain groups of people such as minority groups, females, males, members of the LGBTQ plus community, and many more. In a country built on a foundation of justice, equality, and freedom, it seems unthinkable that we, collectively, would allow a leader with these bad characteristics hatred, racism, xenophobia, corruption, violence, to possess any sort of power that could allow them to act on these characteristics. But it happens because, again, these leaders are a mirror and we as a nation have not always lived up to our founding ideals. The reason that these people in power were given their authority is because they happen to belong to pop popular political parties that further embrace the best and worst characteristics of their party members. While many scholars believe that political parties are more stable to agree upon than attitudes, many voters tend to pay more attention to the party that an individual belongs to rather than pay more concern to their political ideas and beliefs. This makes the deciding factor for a candidate to be chosen or not based on their party and not their beliefs. Citizens tend to vote more for a political party, symbolic color, red or blue, rather than a candidate's policy proposals, since many of these people are vo voted in because of their political affiliation. They begin to do whatever they want when it comes to policies and laws. These people don't even, even consider who they are hurting by creating these unjust policies because they aren't going to be def directly affected as well as they have the people in their party supporting them. When party members don't make laws to benefit the people, but instead make laws that hurt others and only benefit a few, it feels as though these people that are put in charge don't actually have the citizens' best interest at heart. Citizens begin to understand that none of these parties have the intention of regaining the confidence of the American people but rather have the intention of fulfilling their own selfish needs. As Americans, it should be our responsibility to make sure that the people in power are devoted to making America a prosperous place for every individual, regardless of their race, ethnicity, gender, etc. Therefore, many have established that an effective way to stop evil individuals from gaining powerful positions because of their political party affiliation and making unfair laws is to abolish the two-party system. By doing this, it would allow the American citizens to vote for candidates based on their policies and beliefs rather than their political party identification. Eliminating this false choice, it may require more analysis, more responsibility, and less blind loyalty from voters, as well as more accountability by leaders since we would then vote on policies and beliefs rather than simple political party identification or labels. If American citizens would take more concern with the policies of candidates, we would be able to identify and separate the harmful plans from the good plans and vote.
a candidate accordingly. This would then stop the policies and laws that were made to manipulate and disenfranchise certain groups of people from getting passed. Citizens would then vote for an individual based on their plans for America, without the influence of a political party. By putting individuals who have plans to better America into offices, America will become a prosperous nation for all people. America will be filled with less hatred and more love. America will be filled with liberty and justice for all.